Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about Nippon Kenpo in the context of the military, particularly the Japanese self-defense forces. We're going to be looking at weapons defense, of course, striking, throwing, grappling, and just regular competition, and just see how wholesome the whole thing is. And it's kind of coinciding with the vision that Kano Shihan wanted for uh, judo so without further ado let's first talk a little bit about the throwing so you have of course striking throwing and submissions like joint locks and strangles but first as a judoka i want to talk about the throws so it's going to be mainly from the striking since it is a stand-up hand-to-hand combat system you're gonna see some of the basics like here the hip toss or o goshi in judo and it is one of those first techniques that you learn but at the same time it goes a very long way it can be absolutely devastating and it's very effective i always say this in my videos the basics go a long way so you don't need a jacket for this one all you need is to grab the hand and wrap your hand around their back and really put them close and load them onto your hips now there is also leg technique so grabbing the leg and reaping it is very classic in judo especially in the past so instead of grabbing the leg directly obviously it's going to come from the kick but in the context of judo where it's only grappling you can go and grab the leg in the old days where they are left with one leg standing and that's where you reap it from the inside and it's a major inner reap so another thing that i want to discuss is of course uh, kempo done in the conjunction of these old military art like kendo ju kendo and tan kendo here you see with the bayonet and of course with the sword so they usually do these with hand-to-hand -hand combat so here someone strikes with the rifle and the bayonet at the tip and they have to disarm them and of course finish them off once they're on the ground so they can be attacked with it or they're the one that are holding it you have two scenarios here it's very much like the Joe technique in aikido so someone takes it and then you grab it and then you send them off destroying their balance and then you end up with the weapon that's the most important uh, part so there's many ways of doing it you can take it uh, go many different angles to the side to the front and here it's very similar to what we just saw but it's with the rifle and here of course it's the classical wrist twist against uh, small weapons like the knife this is kote gaishi twisting the wrist you turn the knife towards them in case they don't know how to follow you all you need to do is point the knife at them and really pressure the wrist turn them on to their torso and don't go down just disarm them now let's go a little bit into the competition aspect uh, obviously you're gonna be wearing protective gear you're gonna have throws like this so because they're wearing the armor you're, got, you're not gonna have these grips like you see in combat sambo or judo or kudo so but you can have something like the shoulder throw you see here because it does not require a jacket per se now it used to have a different and older type of uh, armor you see these gloves they cover the fingers which personally i like more than the ufc ones because they prevent eye pokes and also the jacket had a padding you can't see it here it's different than the armor that they wear so the old uh, armor was also kind of cool so there is groundwork but it's very limited it's simply just to finish them off after the throw or after the striking took place or took them to the ground there's no minutes and minutes on end because it's very much like the samurai that i've shown in the past where they go down they take out a short knife or a short sword and they finish them off so in competition it's going to be with arm locks or simply striking and 
getting the winning point. And you're going to see a lot of hip tosses, of course, because of the lack of the jackets or the options for the gripping, I should say. So their go-to is going to be much like double leg takedowns and hip tosses. Not saying there's not other techniques, but these are the ones that are easily accessible. And of course, you have classical joint locks like uh, Ude Garami and the arm bar and other types of arm locks because transition is an art of its own. It's not like, you know, you're good on the ground. You spend these minutes and minutes on end. And suddenly when you do stand up judo, you're going to simply employ it. That's not the case, especially with a lot of rules like turtling and the way that you might fall into the uh, ground situation. So transition is an art to be mastered uh, by itself. You are, Can you be on the ground good and then take it to the stand-up with the transitions? Of course. But what I'm trying to say is this, the transitions is something to be mastered the quickness the cardio everything it requires a lot more energy in my opinion than to just roll minutes and minutes on end now let's take a look at these very beautiful foot sweeps that you are seeing uh, here they're very well timed now with the stance there's no grips so foot sweeps they're going to be much lighter on their feet so sweeping them is going to be easier than someone gripping you and really anchored down like a judoka so uh, and as you see it's much like karate they're almost like hovering on their feet so the chances of a foot sweep being successful is very high and at the same time it's something that is very aesthetically pleasing and not energy it's not going to cost a lot of energy so uh, in judo it's a little bit different because you have to move them there's no striking then you have to create that movement and catch them at the right timing. So, and the lack of striking, they make them far more anchored because they want to prevent a throw, which is very obvious. But in striking uh, contacts like kendo and kempo here or karate, you're going to see far uh, people are going to be far lighter on their feet and thus the likelihood of being swept is going to be higher and it's something just simply beautiful to see so uh i believe that you know kempo it's one of the oldest now i'm not talking about nippon kempo the new one the the word kempo is very much old you've seen it in so many old books in the 1800s i've seen it in the book of uh, uchida in 1903 that i've been going through also talks a lot about the old kempo and the uh, method of the fist so, uh, if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.